The brave anti ulez Londoners have come out in Westminster to protest against Sadiq Khan's obsession with his net zero pet project. Now, ULEZ, as you know, the ultra low emission zones have become a bit of a controversy in London. Sadiq Khan is struggling, is trying his best to save his project, his new tax. But Londoners came out yesterday to show uh, that there, there are more people joining this movement to oppose. Sadiq Khan. Let's go to this video first. So this was the beginning of uh, the rally before the rally actually started um, and uh, in, in Trafalgar Square and they went towards a parliament in Westminster. Alan Miller, who is a, a, with the Together uh, Association, the Together De a Declaration. These guys have been very proactive and we got more videos uh, from Alan. Right, we're here outside parliament. We've been marching along down from parliament, uh, from Trafalgar Square. Here's everyone. And this is what we're saying, everyone. We're on a free our streets. No to you, Les. Take back democracy together. Now, it's, it's interesting because uh, we, we do have these uh, street rallies and protest marches um, on a regular basis um, in various locations. So it's not just a centralised Westminster thing. Um, you have, when, at the same time, when you had this rally, you also had it in other places, in Oxford, in Bristol, other uh, towns and cities in the country on various issues, whether it's the low traffic neighborhoods, the LTNs, or ULEZ or clean air zones in Birmingham. This continues while people are protesting on the streets. This put pressure on local councillors and some of the uh, authorities to actually listen to the will of the people and they are blocking Steady Khan's ULEZ policy, as we already reported. I'm here with Arnold and Emma. How are you doing? We're right, thanks. How are you doing? And, and what are you doing here? We're here protesting against the ULEZ expansion that you, um, Sadiq Khan wants to bring out to the Greater London boundaries. We both drive classic cars, we love maintaining them. And also, why should we have to change our cars just because he says so? Because of some scammy ULEZ data and air expansion policy. It's ridiculous. Um, so, yeah, no to ULEZ. Khan's got to go. Great to see you guys. Cheers. It is interesting because EULAs or ultra low emission zones, in the name of helping with air pollution and, you know, of course, the environment, uh, to prevent people from driving their cars, you got this obviously section, uh, which is supposed to be a zone, but he's like, City Con is expanding into the whole of the Greater London, which is no longer a zone, it's basically the whole city. But the problem is that it's going to hit not um, ordinary people with just um, their own private cars driving into London. There are those, like those guys you just saw, they are the people who work. They actually use their vans or whatever they have. They have to do it. They have no choice. They can't not use their car. They can't just like get on a bus with all the equipment. So they're going to get hit because they have to keep using these uh, roads every single day and they have to pay extra tax to Sadiq Khan just because he messed up the Transport for London, TFL, and he made it go bankrupt almost. So he wants to create a cash cow situation. <laughs> Well, it's a massive uh, crowd across the country on the same day when they were doing these protests. Uh, obviously, as usual, um, the mainstream media did not report on any of this that happened this weekend. But this channel will remain the go-to source for reporting everything that the mainstream media is either ignoring or missing. Or even if they report on it, they have their own spin. And we are here to correct the mainstream media's spin. We're going to give you more updates throughout the day every half an hour. So the best thing you can do is subscribe to the channel. I'm Maya Tusi and we are the media.